uh, in today's video, I actually just decided to make this training because it's, it's, it's kind of a little bit of a rant because I'm tired of the information online going around uh, about growing a business and how uh, inaccurate a lot of it is. And so there's some things I want to cover in this video. Um, going over like what we've seen, like obviously since we've trained, you know, thousands of sales reps, we've placed uh, hundreds of reps uh, with business owners in different industries for coaching, uh, consulting, you know, agencies, just all high ticket products and services. Um, and, and just what I've seen, and like a lot of founders think their bottlenecks aren't what they actually are. Um, and there's just, there's just a lot of things I want to, I want to dive into this video. Um, so first off, the main point I want to make, uh, is sales assets and then where you guys are probably spending your attention right now, because a lot of you guys think, that you probably just need to get more leads. Like if I were to ask you guys, like what's the main thing that you think would grow your business right now? You'd probably say, I need to get more leads, okay? I need better lead flow, okay? And this is like what everybody thinks, but in reality, you don't usually need more leads. You need a better uh, sales process or nurture mechanism that can actually milk what you already have asset-wise, and so you can actually make more money with what you already have because the reality is is a lot of people think all right i just need to get more leads to make more money guys your next client is probably not going to come from someone that sees your ad today or tomorrow it's probably going to be somebody that is already being nurtured by you know your youtube channel or um your your, your crm or your school community your discord like those are where your warm leads are at and so a lot of people just don't have the right you know uh, sales reps in place and also the sales process in place to actually be able to make a lot of money with what they already have. Right. And so I just want to, I want to emphasize that it's not always get more leads, right? A lot of the times it's, it's get a better sales process and infrastructure and better sales reps so you can increase your revenue with what you already have. And guys, those are going to be the, that's like where your lowest hanging fruit is. So it'd be dumb not to attack that. Right. And like, there's a bunch more things like than just these, I just put three here, just keep it simple. Like a hundreds of prior bookings. You probably have a bunch of people who have already booked demos with your closer. A lot maybe didn't show up, uh, that would be a good fit for what you sell and you're not following up properly. You don't have a mechanism for that. Um, so like calling people who have already booked and have high intent about you sell, these didn't show up, but they're still interested and you still haven't spoke with them and given them a demo. Like that's your lowest hanging fruit. That's where you're going to make the most of your money. So you need a mechanism to follow up those people and get them to rebook and, and get them to close because it's dumb to get, you know, thousands of new leads when you already have people that are qualified to buy what you sell already in your ecosystem. And so that's one thing I want to emphasize right now. Okay. Um, another thing you guys probably spend your attention on is, is taking sales calls. Now this is so stupid and I think, okay, it's stupid to a point. All right. I think it's good to take your sales calls when you're first starting out. So you can actually build your sales assets, like your sales call recordings, your sales scripts, you get more uh, market research to that by actually speaking with your market on a call. And so I think it's very important to start uh, off by taking your sales calls as a business owner. But like once you're growing and like, you're really trying to get to six, seven figures a month, you're, you're not going to be able to take your sales calls. You're not going to be able to scale if you're still doing the calls. And so you need to get a set or closer in your business guys. And, and one thing that I see a lot of people mess up is they'll be like, um, well, I can't find anyone to close better than me. Are you, are you kidding? Like sales reps, that's all they do. Like you're a CEO, you, you're better at like marketing and, and stuff like that. Um, or fulfillment and, and, and managing teams, but like sales calls, like this is what sales reps do. Like you can, if you think there's not a better closer out there that can have a higher uh, close rate than you can, then you're stupid. Because I'm telling you right now, there are some top dog beast closers out there that would crush you if you guys want to go close rate to close rate. Okay. <laughs> I just thought of the, the one song, we can go M for M. Yeah. We can go close rate for close rate. Uh, you will get crushed. Uh, but anyways, um, Here's the thing, and here's what a lot of you guys are doing. You're getting a lot of new leads and you're putting them to a bad uh, sales mechanism. And so you guys are trying to close them within like 48 hours to one leak of them just seeing who you are for the first time. And here's the thing, you convert a small percentage, right? Like the, obviously this can work, but you lose majority. And there's two, two little things that you guys can do, just bonus in this training, like to increase your guys' uh, uh, revenue and ROI in your ad spend or your organic traffic is literally by offering funding and then also having a downsell. Now, a lot of people have downsells, but not a lot of people have funding. 
this literally changed my high ticket coaching business. Okay. Like we seriously do, I'd say 40 to 50%. Don't quote me on it. Cause I don't know the exact number, but like of our deals are fine. I could look at, I could look at the sheet to get you a uh, actual number, but, um, most, like a lot of our deals are finance deals. And before what we were doing is we were just throwing these leads to the side because they weren't qualified financially, but with funding options, like which we have set up now, which I can help with you guys uh, with your funding and all that um, if we work together. But uh, how this works is like, we were leaving so much money on the table by not having funding because with funding, you can get people to pay in full for your 5K, 10K package, whatever it is, and have to put only a few hundred dollars down. And like, if you took that call without funding on your closing call, you know, you'd have to throw that lead away. Oh, you only got a few hundred bucks. Sorry, man, you don't qualify. Even if they are a good fit, like everything else besides financially, they have to put them to the side because they don't have the 5K. Well, with funding, shoot, they only have to put a few hundred dollars down with the lenders, and then you get paid 5K or 10K up front. It's like, it's dumb not to have that on your sales calls. Like this almost alone, personally, basically 2X my, my personal high ticket coaching business. So this was actually huge for us. Um, and you guys 100,000% need to get this implemented. And I, I, uh, like I said, I can help you with the guy. With, ugh, can't speak. I can help you guys with that as well. Okay. Another thing that I want to go over is like, if I came into your business right now and I asked you like, what are your problems, right? You guys are going to say it's low quality leads. It's not enough appointments, you know, da, 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 Right. And also if I ask you guys your metrics, like, What's your customer acquisition cost? What's your show rate? What's your close rate? What's your cash collection rate? You know, all this, all of these metrics that are very important to know. A lot of you business owners wouldn't even know how to answer half these questions because you don't have the data. You don't have, you know, infrastructures to actually track all the metrics week by week. Okay. And so this is a huge problem. It's like, you can't, you're kind of guessing. I think this is the problem. I think this is the problem. And that's not how you grow a business that can get you to 10, 20, 30, 50 K a month. But if you want to get to six, seven figures a month, you need to know your numbers. Okay. And so if you guys don't know all the metrics, you don't know the actual constraints of your business. Okay. And just to let me actually show this real quick. Um, so like if you don't know your, uh, your show rate, your close rate, your cash collection, rate, Like let's say, for example, you had everything dialed in and your biggest bottleneck was your cash collection rate. Well, then I could come to you with funding and fix that entire problem with bam. But you don't, if you don't know that, that that's your biggest bottleneck and you're over here focusing on just getting more leads, then you're never going to fix the actual problems that you have. Right. And here's another thing. If your offer is bad, guys, no amount of leads is going to grow your business, right? That's not what's going to grow your company fixing your offer. So it's not commoditized. It has good, proper, uh, proper positioning in your marketplace. It, it doesn't have broken pricing. It's not commoditized, right? Um, you, uh, you, if you don't have a setter reaching out to all the leads, if you don't have an efficient setting workflow, which I can show you guys out here in a second, if you're still closing the deals yourself, if your delivery mechanism isn't scalable and you can't take on a hundred clients tomorrow, or you, you just don't get your clients good results, whatever the case may be, you guys have so many more problems that need solve. It's not just put more leads through. In fact, if your if your funnel and your systems and your infrastructure looks like this, you don't want more leads. You don't want to send more leads through a broken sales process. That's just stupid because you're just spending two thousand dollars to put them through some crap to barely get an ROI if you even get an ROI versus spending two thousand dollars over here. You know, if you have a better nurture mechanism and a better uh, sales process and better setters and closers, you're gonna make more money with the same spin. And so that's why building the proper infrastructures in your business, sales, sales asset wise, and like, this is how you're going to grow. It's not just pouring more leads on a turd, right? That's stupid. It's building out, it's turning your turd into a golden nugget and then getting more leads and scaling up a nurture mechanism and process that actually works and is extremely profitable. Okay. So that's, that's just something really important I wanted to know because ideally, guys, you have 100 people that find out about who you are and you get 100 clients. And now, obviously, that's not going to happen. That's, that's perfection. That doesn't exist. But getting, getting as close to that as possible is, is, is very important. And you don't get close to having a perfect process by just focusing on more leads. You need to address the problems. You need to actually fix the real problems and constraints in your business. And guys, 
if I asked you, even showing you all these, these things, guys, what's your biggest constraint? You still might not know the actual true constraints. You might, you're just guessing. And that's why I'm, I'm emphasizing tracking as well. You need to know all of your metrics in order to know statistically what the real constraints and bottlenecks are in your business. Otherwise, like I said, you're just going around guessing, which is not gonna, it's not gonna grow your business, right? And that's why you're stuck at 20, 30, 50K per month is because you're guessing what needs fix. You don't, you're not making, um, data driven decisions. And so that's super important. Okay. Um, and just to break this down, like, uh, kind of what I was just showing you over there, like the main things you need to focus on, obviously there's, there's stuff in between this, but is having a dialed in offer, right? Having dialed in lead flow, right? Having dialed in appointment setting process, right? Killer setters as well. And it's killer setter, uh, setting assets and processes, uh, killer sales, it's killer closers. Um, Funding is like another thing within this. Uh, delivery, it's something that doesn't require you, the founder, so it's very scalable. Like if you get 100 clients and you have to spend so much time with them and you can't take on more clients, that's not the best model. That's not going to scale, right? And so you need to figure out how to make a scalable fulfillment system uh, with your current uh, market and actually still get them results. So that's very important as well. Um, and then, like I said, th there's a lot within this. But this is just like a high level overview of kind of how to go from zero to a million per year and above that. Okay. Um, and then the next thing I want to go over is uh, right here. So like I was saying, guys, like these are probably your problems right now. But like, once again, this is not every single problem that a business can have. I don't even think I could fit that in an entire sheet. Um, but these are some problems that you guys might have. But you need to know by having actual data. And I, I know I sound like a broken record here by saying this over and over, but if you're not tracking your numbers, you have no idea what you're doing, okay? But here's some things that you guys might be, uh, that here's some problems you guys might have in your business right now, right? You might have a commodity offer, right? Everyone's probably selling the same shit as you, okay? The same market with the same ads and the same funnels and all this crap, right? You're probably charging low prices, low profit margins. You probably have a low lifetime value. And this is huge, guys. Like if you can fix your lifetime value, like how long people pay you for and how much they pay you, this can change the game just in and of itself. It's like just these small metrics that if you tweak them and, and slightly improve the percentage of them, 2x, 3x, 4x your business. And like that's, that's kind of what I wanted to make this training. It's like it's not just get more leads. It's Tweaking the metrics within your sales process, tweaking the metrics like lifetime value, like increasing the LTV or increasing the amount they spend, increasing the cash collection, like just these small things can like blow up your business. Okay. And so it's focusing on these metrics right here, because if you spend, um, let's say your lifetime value for a client is, uh, let's just say $20,000. Okay. But let's say they spend, I don't know. 5k let's say they stay for four months first off that'd be a pretty bad uh the delivery system because that's a quick churn rate but let's just say it's 5k up front and they usually stay for four months okay so that means you could literally spend ten thousand dollars to get a 5k client knowing that your lifetime value on average is 20k and you'd still make 10k because they're on average going to stay for four months but until you know your your ltv and in, in numbers like this you have no idea how much you can actually spend to acquire a customer profitably because you're just looking at the front end. Oh, if I spend $3,000 to get a 5k client, dude, I just lost money. Well, not if they stay for three more months and pay you a total of 20k or not if you have a good back end product that you can upsell to your clients and make more money on the back end. Like you, you, you guys need to know this stuff. Otherwise it's just, it's impossible to scale your business, right? Um, not enough volume of leads, low quality leads, not enough appointments. Most products don't have money to get started. A uh, pretty bad show up rate. You know, not able to close above twenty percent on calls. And this is ridiculous. I bet I'll, this is this is industry average twenty percent. By the way, which I consider this pretty bad. If you if you're you have a good sales process and you're getting good leads on your uh, for demos, um, but a lot of you guys have even below twenty percent. And like that's just going back to what I was saying earlier. You guys need killer setters and closers on your offer if you truly want to scale, like you guys can't take your sales calls because if you do, I mean, then, then it's game over, right? Like you're just, you're just not going to grow because you can't take hundreds of sales calls, right? You obviously need to delegate that. And not only will delegating that give you your time back as a business owner, so you can focus on the more important stuff, 
but you also make more money because they're a better closer than you or they're a better setter than you. So I, like I said, broken record, keep going over the same stuff, but it's not about going over new stuff and uh, doing X, Y, Z. It's the boring shit and ramping those up and improving them that actually makes businesses grow. And so that's why I keep repeating the same stuff because business is simple. It's, it's very simple, but it's scaling the inputs and solving all the problems that you truly are facing, right? Um, so yeah, um, I'm, I'm gonna end this training right here. I just wanna go over this, this information with you guys um, and just put together this training because like I said, I'm just tired of all the, the false information going out that, oh, to grow your business, you need to do IGDM ads. It's the only way to grow. Like, I just hate that shit. Like, that's not actually the problem with your business. Like, you probably have way bigger bottlenecks than get more leads, specifically, uh, you definitely don't have a problem. Get more leads to this specific channel. Buy my course. So I'll show you how to do IGDM ads or YouTube automation. Duh, like that's that stuff's annoying, um, and it's, it's not it's not actually going to help you uh, grow your business. And that's why a lot of people will buy these courses and try IGDM ads and then try email marketing, try all these new marketing tactics that they see on ads. They don't actually grow their business because, like I said, those aren't the real problems in your business. You don't have a lead problem more than likely. Okay, especially if you're at like. 50k per month, you're probably already getting a shit ton of leads to do that. Because if you're making 50k per month with a bad sales process, dude, imagine how much money you'd make with the current lead flow if you had a good sales process and you had funding and you had good setters and you had good closers and you had a good downsell uh, option. You guys would just cash click way more money every single month. So it's not about getting more leads; it's about focusing on this type of stuff, okay? And to know truly what's holding your business back, you need to know your numbers and track all the metrics from marketing and sales, literally everything from when a lead finds out who you are to closing, okay? So, all right guys, I'm in this training here. Hopefully this guy's helped you. Hopefully this helped you guys out. <laughs> My words aren't wordy, I'm about to hop off the computer today. The brain's fried, but uh, yeah, catch you guys in another training. See you guys later, peace.